The Lunar New Year is approaching, which for many employees means it's time to get their year-end bonuses. One tech company has announced a year-end bonus of 30 months' pay. Another is giving out bonuses of more than 1 million NT to all employees who have been with the company for at least a year. Captain America shows up on the second floor. He's joined by Spider-Man, Optimus Prime from the Transformers, and Superman. It's a year-end banquet like before the pandemic. While feasts like these can be fun, what employees really want to know is how big a bonus they'll be getting for the Lunar New Year. Don't forget that year-end bonuses reflect the company's performance over the previous year, so it's a lagging indicator. So for the tech sector, there could be some worries about inventories and weak demand in the first half of the year. That could also affect the willingness of tech firms to increase wages. According to a job bank survey, tech firms on average are set to issue a 1.89 months of salary as a bonus before the Lunar New Year. That's in contrast with 2.56 months in the finance sector. With poor export performance in the fourth quarter of 2022 and a slowing economy, salary hikes are not a given. There are some exceptions. Semiconductor IC testing interface firm Winway says it will be handing out a bonus worth 30 months of salary, together with a wage hike of 40 percent. Meanwhile, semiconductor manufacturer Realtek, which already issued bonuses in October, will reportedly be given out more than 1 million NT to employees who've been in the company for at least one year. Over in the telecommunications industry, a company is raising salaries by 12 percent to retain talent. The hike is bigger this year because of the reasons I just mentioned. The pandemic was a hard time for our employees. And now with inflation and a shrinking workforce, it's getting harder and harder to find workers. So that's why we decided to raise salaries to attract more talented workers. With high demand for 5G products and consolidation among Taiwan's top three telecoms, the industry is raising salaries to bring in some New Year cheer and make inflation a little less painful for workers.